Look who decided to show their pretty little mug again. You're my goat. Wait, that sounded better in my head. Oh, jeez. Um, kiss me. You win. Flawless victory. Won't you play with me? Don't worry, Tiger. You let me pick the theme of the wedding, and I'll let you pick the theme of the honeymoon. You should cosplay as a less dressed version of you. Oh, for just day. I was hoping to see you. I... I don't know how to say this, but... I never want to be apart from you. Do you feel the same way? Let's find a sunbeam big enough for two. Hey, you don't happen to have a feather, some string, and a stick? I'm asking for a friend. This veil is beautiful. I'll try not to rip it off and scratch it with my back feet, but no guarantees. I've now seen you enough to confirm that you are not, in fact, just a random person I dreamt about. I would love to hang out more, if you'd like. Wonderful. Oh, and in case you're wondering, I'm not a dream either. Don't be nervous. How can we eat buffalo wings? I thought buffaloes were extinct. Oh, what a strange gift. Thank you. Oh, you're such a dear. You're in my list of top five friends. I write them down so I don't forget. Am I in your top five? Oh, that's wonderful. I always wanted to be in a top five list. Bucket list? Check marked. I carry a pillow with me in case I fall asleep. I hope you don't mind. Thank you. It's a very thoughtful gift. I especially like that it won't cut me if I fall on it. Once I saw that you didn't change into a werewolf, I felt much safer in the moonlight. Thank you for a lovely date. I know this sounds a little weird, but can I borrow your hoodie? Like, forever? Oh, thank you. I love wearing it when it gets chilly. It's so warm and it smells so good. Thanks so much. I dreamt that I had a dream I was dreaming of you last night yesterday afternoon. It was trippy. Oh, you shouldn't have. Thank you. You're so nice to me. Oh, I enjoyed that so much. You're very talented at taking girls to places they enjoy. 
Is that your superpower? Hey, you don't happen to have a feather, some string, and a stick? I'm asking for a friend. When I press my breasts into you and whisper in your- Pay attention to me or I'll bite you! Anything saucy you want to dress me in? Feel free. I love the feeling of lace and latex. I'm an equal opportunity exhibitionist. I dreamt that I had a dream I was dreaming of you last night, yesterday afternoon. It was trippy. Rest in peace, Rainbow Flight Rider. You were the motorcycle I needed, not the one I deserved. What is it, Short Stack? I've got a lot of anger in me, and I'm looking for something squishy to punch. You ever want to be a human stress ball? <laughs> what? Seriously? No, no, that's okay. I'm not gonna hit you. Way to take one for the team, though. The name's Eero. Nice to meet ya. Well, I need a new motorcycle. Looks like it's back to flipping burgers for me. 
I hope no one else has taken my job. You again, huh? I thought I saw you sneaking around. What do you want, a cookie or something? Well, I'm fresh out. But you're not bad at making me smile. So I hereby promote you to frenemy. Keep it up, and one day you might be worthy to be friend-zoned. I literally can't even. I guess that means I'm odd. Get it? <laughs> Listen, I'll level with you. This is getting re-gifted. Please up your gift game. Back for more. Listen, I know I've got boobs and teeth and whatever else you might be into, but do you really want to go through the trouble? Wow. Okay. Respect. We can hang out. You've got a weird underdog sort of thing going on. I bruised my tailbone in the accident. It hurts to sit. That is a freaking crime against nature, my friend. Listen, I'll level with you. This is getting re-gifted. Please up your gift game. Well, I don't know if you're dateable, but how does the friend zone sound? Can your fedora-wearing butt handle such a purgatory? You're a glutton for punishment. So be it, my dear. I bruised my tailbone in the accident. It hurts to sit. That is a freaking crime against nature, my friend. Classy! You dug a little deeper for this one, huh? I like it. Wow. Everything is way more romantic by moonlight. Maybe even burpees. Okay, random story time. I had a dream about you. Not the sexy kind. The kind where you're selling me horse insurance. You ever get dreams like that? <laughs> Sweet. Okay, that's two out of two people. I guess it's normal. You should ask me out today. Go out, come back in, and say something awkward but charming. I'll wait. Why do you do this? Are you trying to make me swoon? Well, no guarantees, but keep it up. If you think you can win my heart by taking me to fun and exotic places, you are exactly right, and I applaud your sharp, forward thinking.
I dreamt that I had a dream I was dreaming of you last night yesterday afternoon. It was trippy. You should ask me out today. Go out, come back in, and say something awkward but charming. I'll wait. Almost! Good gracious, I am a sight. Why do I get the weird feeling that there's someone out there enjoying this a bit too much? My stars, this is one dilly of a mess. Feel like grabbing a mop and lending a hand, sugar? <laughs> Thanks, darling. You know, you look pretty cute in an apron. In case you're wondering, I haven't cleaned this up yet because I'm waiting for you to offer to help. Either you still feel bad for a clumsy introduction or you're starting to fancy me. Are one of those true, darling? Well, just in case, I forgive you, sugar. Now, I wonder if I'll keep seeing you around. It's a piece of cake to bake a pretty cake. Just make sure not to use a messy recipe. Bless your heart, sugar. I've got lots of these already, but one more couldn't hurt. Where are my manners? I haven't even introduced myself proper. My name's Bonnabelle. Do you mind if I keep calling you Sugar? Great choice. I'll also be calling you Darling, Sweet Cheeks, and Dollface. Great to make your acquaintance. You're working off a hard, Sugar. Is it just to impress us gals? Maybe you should take a load off. Bless your heart, sugar. I've got lots of these already, but one more couldn't hurt. The secret to baking the perfect bread is proper measuring of ingredients. Hey, I know it's not romantic, but you can't eyeball this stuff. You should try baking sometime, sugar. I find it awfully relaxing. And you can eat all the cookies you want, because they can't defend themselves.